In this short tutorial, we are going to install Fabric, Fabric API, and then Optifine on this Fabric installation. Now, before we begin, you have to run Minecraft 1.18 at least once. So play, go into the main menu and then quit. Also, all of the links are going to be down in the description. First, in Fabric, we are going to download the installer, the universal char version. If you click on it, we have to select keep and now it is downloading. Next, we need our Fabric API. And at the time of the recording, this 0 0.43 is the newest one. Just make sure that you pick one that has the game version of 1.18. If you find the file that we're gonna download, you click on download file. And after a few seconds, it is also going to download this file down here. Again, we have to click on keep. Next, we head over to Optifine. And in Optifine, we go into download and up here we have Minecraft 1.18. Currently, we're in preview versions, but this one here is the version for the full 1.18 release. Uh, pick the newest one and click on mirror. Then click on download and it is also going to download this file here. And the last one that we need is OptiFabric. In OptiFabric, again, make sure you're downloading a version for 1.18. If you found that, you click on download, wait our five seconds, and then we click on keep again. Once all of them are downloaded, I am just going to drag them onto the desktop so that we have a proper space to work with them. And the first one that we're going to use is the fabric installer. So we click on it, and then we make sure that we are on a client side and that we are having the correct 1.18 version selected and we click on install. Now, since I still have both of the launches installed, the original one and the new one, it asks me where do you want this installation to be set on? And I am just going with the new, the Microsoft Store one. And as you can see, everything is now successfully installed. So we can close that. And if I'm opening up the launcher now, you can see we now have the fabric loader for 1.18. Now, if the loader here is not installed, just head over to installation, make sure mod it is checked, click on new installation, name it, and then down here, you can find your fabric version that we just installed. Also, a little bonus trick, if you go into the three dots here and you go to edit, more options, down here you actually can assign more RAM so I'm going from 4 to 8 we click on save now just to make sure that we're not running into any issues let's go ahead and click on play and as soon as we are in the main menu you could see fabric on the bottom left we can go and quit next we need to open up our dot minecraft folder if you don't know where your dot minecraft folder is go into the search bar put in percentage app data percentage that brings you into your roaming folder and most likely the very first one is your .minecraft folder. Now in here you may or may not have a folder called mods. If you don't have this folder you just right click new folder and you create a new folder called mods M-O-D-S. Then we go into this folder and we are going to drop in a few things. First we're going to put in our fabric API. Then we're going to put in OptiFabric. And the last thing that we're putting in is our OptiFabric version itself. Now in here, make sure that you just have one version of Fabric API, one version of OptiFabric, uh, and one version of Optifine. So for example, if we go into my 1.17 folder, you can see if I would pull any of those Optifines over, we actually would get an error when we start up. Now let's make sure that everything works. And as you can see, everything started up. We have Optifine, we have Fabric. Let's log into a world. And as you can see in the top left, we are in Fabric with Optifine. Our Zoom is working and we can look at the seat that we're actually going to play on in season two of Infinite Realm. And on the top right, you can see that I have eight gigabytes of RAM assigned to this game version. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. Don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe. See you at the next video.